Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Really Nice Stuff. Today I am here to do a what sold video. You guys really seem to like these and I do like watching these myself. So today I don't have too, too many things to ship. My sales were pretty good. However, I am selling lower sales price items right now because that is currently what I'm listing. So my total sales was $623 from Friday at noon until this morning, Monday morning, and uh, $408 of that was eBay and $215 of that was Poshmark. So I did sell more on eBay than I did on Poshmark um, quantity and sales price. But yeah, I think everyone was just kind of adjusting from the holidays and sales typically are low for me in January. So let me know how your sales typically are in January. Um, I was definitely happy that I did have some, so try to be thankful for that. However, my weekend sales have definitely um, dropped by half. I was selling about nearly, you know, $1,500 to $2,000 on a weekend, and now it's about $600. So I am still happy with that, but yeah, let's just jump right into this what sold video, and I'll let you know exactly what sold, where I got it, and what I paid for it. Also, I did quickly want to mention that we do have a giveaway winner and it is Allison Jordan. If you are Allison Jordan and you are watching this video, I did reply to your comment on my giveaway video. So definitely go check that out so I can get your email address and get your box sent out to you. Thank you for everyone who entered and I do plan on doing more giveaways in the future. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for being here and let's get started on what sold. The first item that sold are these Calvin Klein crepe wide leg work pants. Um, they were a size eight. I paid $6 for this item in a liquidation lot and they sold for $20 plus shipping. Calvin Klein is one of those brands that I feel like a lot of people disregard because it's not trendy, but it's definitely a great seller for me, especially their dresses. Um, and their, their work pants, you know, it's definitely a workwear brand, but it all sells really, really well. The next item that sold is this lay suit suit. These suits retail for $200. I did pick them up in liquidation for $6. Um, some have sold for a hundred dollars and this one only sold for $25. They are obviously brand new with tags. However, the price really fluctuates. I've gotten 60, I've gotten 30. So um, I'm still profiting on this item. And like I said, I'm just looking to move my items quickly. The next item that sold is this J Jill top. I actually got this at the bins like a while ago. Um, I probably paid less than a dollar and it sold for $12 plus shipping. J. Jill used to do a lot better for me than it does now, but it does still sell for sure. Um, it just used to sell for around 25. Now I'm not getting as much. The next item that sold is this Target pajama set and a Milk Barn baby outfit set. Um, that one was a bundle and it was pre-owned. It was actually my daughter's and she wore it. It's the, the Milk Barn bundle sold for $8 and the Target pajamas sold for four. The Target, blah, 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 the Target pajamas were new. I got them in a box from Jomar and I think I paid $2. So not a lot of profit there, but the items did still sell. The next item that sold was this Harry Potter sweatshirt. I got this in a bundle from Jomar and I got them all new with tags, however, um, they have sat for quite a while. I have multiple quantities on this one. However, I think I only paid a couple of dollars. So it did sell for $5 plus shipping. However, I would not pick something like this up again. Um, it's kind of, I thought it would do good since it was kind of like a niche, but, um, and I did notice that they have been selling since that Harry Potter special came out. Um, so a few of them have been selling, so that is good, but Otherwise, they would just be sitting. The next item that sold is this Calvin Klein blazer in the size 14. Um, this one was from a liquidation palette for $6. It sold for $20 plus shipping. And yeah, not, 
Not too bad. The next item that sold is this French Connection Bulldog t-shirt. This one was pre-owned and I got it in consignment. It sold for $8 plus shipping. So I will make 40% of the profit on that item. Next item that sold was this PPLA top. This was like a free people dupe top from a boutique. This one was pre-owned and it sold for $5 plus shipping. Um, this one was also a consignment item. And again, I make 40% of the profit on consignment. The next item was another consignment item by Olive and Oak. I've never sold that brand before. However, it did not, comps did not look good at all. It sold for $2 plus shipping. And yeah, it was just a simple little Aztec print dress. The next item that sold was this one state fringe sweater. Um, this one was an extra small and I did pick this up in a liquidation lot. I paid $6. It sold for $15 plus shipping. One state actually does pretty well. It doesn't sell for a ton of money, but it does sell pretty fast, which is good. The next item that sold is this guest sports bra. Um, this one was brand new with tags from liquidation. I paid $6. It only sold for $8 plus shipping, but I'm still happy to see it go. Um, yeah, you guys know the drill here. The next item that sold are these Coral sweatpants. I paid $8 for these from a lot from Jomar and they sold for $30 plus shipping. Um, I'm still dwindling through the last bit of the Coral that I have. I don't know if I recommend picking it up. It is sold at Revolve, um, but the items aren't selling for a lot, but that could be because there are a lot of other sellers on eBay and Poshmark that are selling these same items. So um, if you can find some of the brand that is pre-owned or, you know, not as saturated as the active wear is currently on eBay and Poshmark. The next item that sold is this Liz Claiborne sweater. I picked this up at the bins like two years ago. It sold for $5 plus shipping. This was when I was really just trying out a bunch of different brands or anything that I thought was cute. I do not typically pick up Liz Claiborne anymore um, or ever, <laughs> I think besides this sweater. <laughs> so um, I definitely don't recommend picking up this brand unless um, you, know, you just happen upon it or you've got it in your closet to sell. Um, nothing against this brand, it just doesn't sell as well as I would like for it to. So, like I said, it sold for $5 plus shipping. The next item that sold are these Converse. I thought these would do a lot better than they did. And they honestly sat for a while too. Normally I can guarantee about 20 bucks to 30 bucks out of a pair of Converse, but these ones did not do so well. Um, but the classic Converse, even pre-owned, you're gonna get 20 to 30 bucks. They do sell really, really well. These ones were like a pebbled leather. Anyways, they sold for $12 plus shipping. And I picked these up at the Goodwill. So um, not the outlet, just the regular Goodwill. So I probably paid $6 for these. The next item that sold is this Show Me Your Moo Moo crop top. Um, this one I've had forever and a lot from Jomar. I paid $8 for this one. It sold for $16 plus shipping. So not too bad for it just being a simple little crop top. The next item that sold is this white summer dress. This was a Shein dress um, and it, I got this one in my thread up box um, that you guys saw. I paid about $1.30. It sold for $8 plus shipping. I'm hoping to have some more exciting sales for you guys coming up soon when I start purchasing liquidation again. But right now, we just have these simple, boring, everyday sales. Um, I wish I was doing YouTube when I was having all these crazy fire sales from all of that liquidation, but I was not. And unfortunately, that's just, that's just the season that I'm in in my business. Um, 
We are currently building a house and every single dollar counts. We're saving every penny to do so. So, um, yeah, I'm just listing what I have, what I can get on consignment, what I can get for cheap. So that's just the name of the game in my business right now. I do obviously have bigger goals for my business, but sometimes you're just not able to do what you're wanting to do yet. It does take money to make money. So that's where I'm at. The next item that sold are these Calvin Klein pants. Again, with the Calvin Klein, they, it sells so regularly on eBay. It does great. These sold for $24 plus shipping and someone actually paid for these to be global shipped, which is awesome because I have yet to have a return on global shipping. If you are not signed up for eBay's global shipping program, I highly recommend it. All you have to do is ship it to Kentucky and then they take care of the global shipping aspect and the buyer pays for the extra shipping. So it's honestly really hassle free and I have never received a return for global shipping. And I do notice that some of my higher end items also sell global shipping and like I said, no returns. You're not worried about getting like a $500 return, you know, on that more expensive item. So definitely recommend signing up for that. It's literally free. You just go Google how to sign up for eBay's global shipping. You'll click the little buttons and you're signed up. It's that easy. The next item that sold are these coral leggings. Um, these are black and like with a lavender stripe. These sold for $24 plus shipping. Not bad. I paid $8, like I said, in a lot from Jomar. The next item that sold is this Forever 21 dress. This I got in that thread up liquidation or no thread up bulk mixed clothing lot. Um, I did do an unboxing. Okay. I did do an unboxing of that on my channel already. Um, so definitely check that out. This one sold for $3 plus shipping. I paid $1.30. The next item that sold is this Billabong dress. This I got... Hmm, where did I get this one? I think I got this from a Jomar box, like my very first Jomar box. Um, it used to be called the CPR box. I don't know what it's called now. Um, but I paid like $2 for it and it sold for $5 plus shipping. It did sit for a while, but it did still finally sell. The next item that sold is this Langents, um chain print maxi dress. I picked this up from Jomar. I paid $20 for this item. Their dresses actually sell really, really well. Um, this one sold for $70, $75 plus shipping which is great. And this was a known style of dress. So I knew it would sell really well. Um, I still didn't profit too, too much, but again, $75 plus shipping. Some of them have sold for $150, $150 plus shipping. The next item that sold is this Wild Fable, which is a Target brand dress. This I got in that thread up box for $1.30. It sold for $5 plus shipping. Not bad. Um, I typically don't pick up this type of brand, but for that box, I did go ahead and list everything. I wasn't going to let any dollar go to waste. And I suggest you do the same. Every single dollar counts, you guys. The next item that show sold is the Show Me Your Moo Moo denim mini dress. I picked this up from Jomar about a year ago for $8. It sold for $20 plus shipping. And the Show Me Your Moo Moo stuff did really, really well. Um, it sold, it sells pretty fast. Oops. Yeah, it all sold really well, really fast. I still have a few items left, a few swimsuits, a few dresses, but most of all of it sold. I definitely recommend picking up Show Me Your Moo Moo. Some of the items can sell upwards of a hundred. Um, I'm, like I said, I'm on my last little bit of inventory, so I'm letting it go for less. The next item that sold are these Cat and Jack shorts. These were my daughter's. She, I bought them new, she wore them, and I sold them for $3 plus shipping. The next item that sold is this American Eagle um, denim mini skirt. I picked this up from a Jomar lot. Um, I paid $10, which is a little bit high in my opinion. Um, and 
I really wasn't too happy with that American Eagle box. I got a lot of sizes zeros and double zeros. This was a size six, but I still have so much quantity left of that item. That's the unfortunate thing of doing those boxes with Jomar, you know, the brand, the branded ones is you're going to get a lot of small sizes because it is overstock. So you're going to get, you know, 10 of the same skirt in a size double zero. I don't really recommend it. Um, but everyone has their preference. I did still profit slightly on this item, but I would not pick it up again for sure. The next item that sold is this Alfani um, satin trim top. This one I got from liquidation for $6. It was new tags. Obviously it sold for $12 plus shipping. Alfani is one of those regular sellers for me, even though I was totally surprised by that. And I would have never picked that brand up. If you can find it, this, this is one of those brands that comes in liquidation. It just, you cannot help it. And I was happily, I was happily surprised that it does sell. The next item that sold was this Shein Navy maxi dress. Um, this one I got in that thread up box. It, I got it for a dollar and 30 cents. It sold for $4 plus shipping. Even cheap brands like Shein do sell. Keep listing. I think that's the key. And I do want to do like a separate video on that about, um, you know, how to get consistent sales. And really all it is, is you need to consistently be listing and you'll consistently be selling. It is literally that easy. The next item that sold is this Matilda Jane set. Um, this one is worn. My, I bought it new for my daughter. She wore it, wore the heck out of it. And it sold for $15 plus shipping. I did note in the listing that it was worn. It did have some wash wear. Um, so yeah, I just showed up close pictures of that and made that clear in the listing. Okay, so that was it for eBay. Now we're gonna go over to Poshmark. Um, I did send out offers all weekend long using my program Posture VA. However, sales were really slow. I think that's just how it's gonna be in January, to be honest. So the first item that sold on Poshmark was this loft sweater. This one sold for $14 with discounted shipping. So my profit was $3.60. I've had this item forever. I think I picked it up at the Goodwill for $5. The next item that sold is this Tahari blazer. Um, this one I picked up in liquidation for, I believe, $12. And this one sold for $36 with discounted shipping. So my profit was about $13. The next item that sold are these coral leggings with the neon stripe. Again, I paid $8 for these. They sold for $24 and my profit was $3.75. The next item that sold is this Ann Taylor skirt. This I got in that thread up lot um, for $1.30. It sold for $20 and my profit was $15. I was very surprised that this one sold. It was a size zero, but it did still sell. The next item that sold are these Helmet Lang jeans. These jeans retailed for $310. Absolutely insanity. I got these from an eBay liquidation lot at the very beginning of COVID before I found Jomar. Don't recommend buying those. Do not buy those, okay? Any lot on eBay that you find, I, I honestly do your research, but I don't suggest it. I think I paid 15, no, 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 $18 per item for like 20 items for that eBay lot. And it was all crap, all of it. Bad buy. I lost money on this item, but I am glad that they finally sold for $15. I don't know, guys. I don't know where they're getting their inventory to sell to people, but they claim to give you all these certain brands and they don't every box varies no i'm about to cook you lunch so i do not recommend it 
The next item that sold is this Coral Sports Bra. I paid $8 for this item. It sold for $34. Um, so my profit was about $19. The next item that sold is this Show Me Your Moo Moo Maxi Dress. Again, I paid $8 from a Jomar lot about a year ago. This one sold for $37. Um, my profit was $14. The next item that sold is this Alfani top. This was a size 2X, which means that it did sell a little bit higher normally, typically. I picked this up in a liquidation lot for $6 and it sold for $35 with discounted shipping. So my profit was around $14, not bad at all. I was definitely happy with this sale. All right, you guys, that concludes this What Sold video. Please let me know down in the comments what you guys want to see next. I have some video ideas that I would like, um, but I really want to know what you guys want to see. I am going to start uploading two videos a week in 2022, so um, I, I'm very excited for that, and I do have an exciting one coming up next. It's going to be my year-end review. I'm going to share my exact profits with you guys for my business um, and let you know how my sales were for the year of 2021. So that will be coming next. So definitely subscribe if you're not already so that you can be notified when I post a new video. But yeah, besides that, please let me know in the comments what you guys want to see next and I will get to work on those for you guys. So thank you guys so much for being here and I will see you in my next video. Bye.